Hello everyone, Mr. Shinka here, welcoming you in a new video. So today I've decided to make another tutorial about OBS Studio, but this time we'll be covering the streaming parts because there are some viewers who asked me for it and here it is. But before we start, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, as it really helps me a lot. Share it with your friends who want to start uh, making YouTube videos or streaming. And well, let's jump right into it. So before we start, obviously you need to have OBS Studio. Uh, if you don't have it, here's the link for it. I will be providing a link down in the description. So you just click download OBS Studio. You choose whether it is for Mac, for Windows or Linux, it depends. And you will have something like this. But before we start, I highly recommend that you check my previous video about OBS Studio as it englobes the whole software and it goes much in details than this one. So it shows you how to make the scenes, how to make the sources. I will be not covering it in this video, so to make it a bit shorter. So first things first, we go to files, settings and in the general tab, uh, when you are streaming, uh, you can like if you are afraid that you start the stream without you knowing and like people will just watch you doing something in your room or I don't know so to avoid that you can click on this show confirmation dialog when starting streams so if you click on your streaming key without knowing it maybe you misclick or something it gives you the dialog whether you don't want to stream or not which is really good so to avoid any problems show confirmation dialog when stopping streams this is also you should take it in case you misclick and you stop the stream straight on so this one will prevent it and it will give you a dialogue before you want to stop the stream automatically record when streaming this is really good for those who have also a youtube channel so if they want to make a montage or if they want to make a highlight they stream and record at the same time which makes it way easier for them to later on to edit it on their software keep recording when stream stops and everything so this depends on you it varies from one user to another so just read them Check what is good for you, what is not good for you, and take what is good and what is not good. For streaming, so here starts the good part. So when you go on the stream tab, you have this stream type. You just leave it at streaming services. Then the service here, you can choose whether you want to stream on Twitch, YouTube, and everything. If you want to stream on another platform and you cannot see it, you just click show all services. And here the list will be longer. And normally you should find this, uh, the platform you want to stream on. Uh, whoops so server basically means on which server you want to stream uh, don't choose the server according to your geographical location so let's say I'm in Algeria I find the server for France or Paris I will just say okay I choose Paris because it's the closest it does not work like that the best way you can do it is going to this website I will provide the link down in the description and download this uh, software which is called twitch bandwidth test so what this software does it basically shows you the best servers according to your location so that you don't have lags while streaming and everything so you just download the software I'm not going to do it because I already downloaded it uh, here it is so twitch test here it comes so here you have different uh, regions so Europe United States Asia and other it depends on you personally I am in Algeria I will choose Europe and maybe other because United States and Asia are kind of far from me and you need your streaming key from twitch so if you don't know how to do it you just click get key it will automatically take you to the Twitch uh, website and you have to be logged in. If you are not logged in, just re-log or log in, sorry, and go back to the software, click on get key and it should take you there. Here you have like show the key. So you get this warning that uh, this key is for you. Don't uh, share it with others because if someone takes your key, they can stream on your channel. So be careful with that. So you click on everything. You get your key here, so you copy it. Uh, if, in case like me, now I'm going to show you this key, and in case you do it by mistake, you are with your friend, he sees it, or, or you are recording and people see it, you just click on modify the key. So it gives you a new key, so people like, if someone has it, it won't work anymore. So, as I said, you copy the key, you paste it, and before you start the search, uh, I recommend that you put it on long for 60 seconds, so it gives you the most accurate results. So, start, and here you see there are the servers, and it will give you me, it will test each server and tell me which one is the best for me. So, like the one for uh, Sydney, it's 407 ping, which is not good at all, and for the bandwidth, it's 323. So, 
It takes a lot of time, so I'm not going to wait until the rest. So just try it for yourself. See which server fits you. Check the bandwidth. Check the ping and check the quality. If the quality is 100% or 80% and the ping is really good, choose that server and go for it. If the quality is like at 50 or lower, don't go for it at all because it means that the, your stream will be really bad. So this is for the uh, server. Stream key, as I said before, you just copy it from here and oops and you pass it in here the output so now i'm not going to cover the recording and audio because i did it on the previous video go check it out so you can see it so you have the output mode output mode sorry you put it on advanced streaming here audio check if you want a one two three four five it depends on you if you wanted to have only your microphone your uh, game audio or microphone game audio team speak separated together so you can work it out, it depends on one usage or the other. The encoder, if you have an NVIDIA graphic cards, MVEC, or if you have an AMD graphic card, you use the uh, the one for the AMD graphic card. Rescale output, you leave it as it is. Now, control rate, constant bitrate, variable bitrate, CRF and everything, you stick on constant bitrate. Because if you check the tr Twitch uh, recording guide, they highly recommend that you keep it at constant bitrate. So it does not so it does not create problems later on. For the bitrate. Here also depends on from one user to the other and from one connection to the other. So I will also provide a link down in the description about this uh, Twitch streamers, which gives you a complete guide about the different uh, resolutions. So for instance, if you want to record at 1080p 60fps, it tells you what, with what kind of bitrate you need, what frame rate, keyframe interval and everything. So check it out and see on what resolution you want to record. So if you want to record at 480p, if your in uh, internet is really slow, that's what you need. You need 1,500 to 3,000 kilobytes per second and everything. So it depends from one user to another. So just check it out. See on what resolution you want to stream. See if your internet can handle this kind of resolution. And keep trying on. Because I cannot tell you what you need to do or not. But the maximum that you can go on bitrate is 6,000. Maybe you can push it to 7,000. That's the maximum you can go. Don't go over that. So... Just put it at 5000 if you want to stream at 1080p 60fps or 720p. Uh, if you want to record at 720p, you make it like at 45000. It depends on you, so just try it out. Make some stream tests, put another PC next to you or ask your friend to watch it and see if uh, the encoding is good or not. The keyframe interval, you put it at 2. Preset, default, uh, profile, main or high is the same. Uh, level. Auto, used to pass encoding, GPU 0, B frames 2. Now, audio, so here you choose your sources, your headset, your microphone, and so on and so forth. So, it's basic, not not something really big. Video, so the base, the canvas, this is your monitor. This is what uh, you are playing on, so you keep it at the resolution of your monitor. The output is on which resolution you want to stream or record. So, if you want a 1080p, you leave it at 1080p. If you want a 720p, you change it to 720p. Downscale filter, as I said in the previous video, Nexus is the best. Common FPS values, either 60 FPS or 30. Something to keep in mind is uh, the Twitch affiliation, whether you are affiliated to Twitch or not. So uh, if you are not affiliated to Twitch, your stream uh, will be on your the source uh, resolution, which means that if you are uh, recording at 1080p it will be at 1080p the users will not have the option to change the resolution however if you are affiliated to twitch uh, when you are streaming twitch will encode your stream and it will give the other options like from mobile low high so 420 uh, 480p 720p and everything so what i can hack uh, what i can recommend you as a new streamer uh, is that you uh, stream at a low resolution don't stream at a really high resolution because you may lose some potential viewers. Good example is me. I have many friends who stream at uh, 1080p 60fps and I have really bad internet so I cannot watch them. So they they are losing a potential viewer, which is me. So as a new streamer, I highly recommend that you stream at a low quality. I'm not talking about 320, 380p or 320p, I don't know what it is, or 480p, no. 
at least 720p so that viewers can watch your stream and that you can catch potential viewers because there are, uh, there are still a lot of people who have bad internet and they cannot watch high quality streams. But if you are affiliated to Twitch, you can record at 1080p 60fps with the highest resolution ever. No problem because the twi Twitch will propose to the viewers other resolutions. So 720p, 440, 480p and so on and so forth. So this is my personal tip to you. Take it into consideration. Hotkeys, so this is start recording, stop recording, start streaming, stop streaming, show window capture and everything. So here, depends on one user from another. If you want to make transitions from one picture to another, it depends on you. Advanced, you leave it as it is, you don't change it. If you want to stream on YouTube and you don't know how, so first thing, I will provide also a link in the description so that you can check the live encoder. So this is the guide for YouTube. So they show you if you want to rec uh, stream at 4K, this is what you need. If you need to record a uh, stream at 1080p, so resolution here, video bitrate between 3000, 6000 kilobytes per second. I will also provide this link into the, in the description so you can check it out. So if you don't know how to stream on YouTube, you just go to your channel, click here. So it's like you are uploading a video, but you have this live streaming, get started. And here you should have like your encoder setup. So here you can set up everything, the thumbnail, and everything you have the stream name key which you can reveal and you can change it as it is you copy it you paste it in your OBS studio thingy and you will be streaming in YouTube so it is pretty simple and pretty easy you just have to know on which bitrate you want to stream and you have to know whether your internet can handle this kind of bitrate this kind of resolution or not also uh, something I forgot to tell you about is you can use speed test to check your internet connection and to see what is your upload speed. Don't care about the download speed, it has nothing to do with streaming, so check your upload speed and see uh, whether or not you can handle, let's say, 1080p streaming or not or other resolutions. So that's it for the guide, people. It's pretty easy. If you want to stream and you are like, don't know how to do it, just download OBS Studio, check this guide and start streaming without any problem. And as I said, if you are not affiliated, I highly recommend that you stream at a lower resolution so that you can uh, catch some potential viewers and later on you can easily like uh, register for uh, the affiliation program, or I don't know how it is called, and you will get affiliated and you have like the encoding system and everything. But that's it for this video. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. Just give it a try, check what fits uh, you and what does not fit you. And well. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this, and leave in the comments below whether you enjoyed it, this guide or not. And ask me anything if I have any question, just ask me and I will answer you. I'm most of the time here, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.